Welcome. My name is Penelope Chatterton. Welcome to Awaken the Dream. My friends, I have Reverend Kathleen Hoffman back, pastor of the First Spiritualist Church in Onset, just somewhere off near the Cape. Anyway, she's back. She did two shows with me recently, but we had more to say because she's in the middle of a book, and it sounds exciting, and it might tell us how she got to be what she is. Welcome to the program. Thank you, You look Penelope. wonderful today. Thank you. Colorful on a nice hot day on the Cape, and you made it, and the traffic was hideous, and I don't know how you got here so fast. <laughs> It was easy. It, it was. was easy, really. Yes, you were yeah. guided. Yes, exactly. So, Listen to Your Antenna is a book you're in process. Yes. And when we talked last time, maybe you can fill us in a little bit about other pro what we had said before about why you became a medium, a spiritualist, your background a little bit. So right. we can sort of catch them up with a little mini quickie. Sure, sure. Well, um, actually, the book was um, kind of given to me by spirit, I would say, and sure. reflection um, to write about. And um, I had a chance to kind of reflect on my life and from my birth all the way through. And what came to me is if I took little segments of each of my um, age Chapters, segments, yeah, periods, uh, periods of my life. Yeah. Um, actually, it was plotted and planned, planned to where I am today. Of, of course. Uh, the gifts that I've gotten are through from my childhood. Uh, things that I would have never known. Um, that I, the abilities that I had, the skills that I had, um, are actually were forming as I was going along. But I didn't recognize it until I came here. So to this point in my life. Yeah. So the reflection was, uh, as a very young girl, um, I used to love to draw. Ah. And um, I didn't go to art school, but but uh, I had a, my grandmother had sent me one time to art school. Oh, okay. I just was a class on art. And for um, I was kind of shy as a, uh, as a young girl. So when I went to the art class, um, there, were, there were all the ages there. And I was maybe about 12, I guess. Yeah. And um, and I didn't quite understand the kind of art they were doing because I was just basic, draw a face and eyes and so forth. And <laughs> so when I was in the art class, it was really funny. They had naked statues, and I thought, oh my God, I don't belong here. This is not. <laughs> I'm not old. It was enough. probably because my Catholic bringing up. So <laughs> so uh, that was a one-time shot. I came back home, and I remember my grandmother saying to me, you know, you have talent. And I had won art shows in school and things like that, but okay. never really pursued it. But little did I know that my my con drawing of people's faces that's all I would I would just draw draw people's faces yeah and now I'm a spirit artist I mean oh. when you link it like that it's of course. It, it's amazing never in my mind did I think I was going to be doing that yeah. as an adult yeah. but it Isn't started it, it's interesting you, you don't see where it's going at the time you're in this period you're, you're doing this, life yeah. yeah yeah you're just doing life and you're a kid and and so you were you have you were drawn to that and then yes. from there it moves into something else and that gives you a new reflection on where that goes to right and I, I I'm a firm believer that we're plot and plan before we oh. come on the earth plane here that everything's set up that we choose yeah. our appearance and our life situations for yeah. our soul evolution and we've I been had we've been had <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is it and 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 um, I you know it makes for an easier life and easier existence as far as and the book is about how to help others to look at their lives and bring out the good things that maybe the hard circumstances that they came into yeah they usually give us our best gifts oh I think so I and think so the so. book is basically for that to show maybe just ex explaining about my life and maybe the traumatic things that happened that gave us uh, gave me my gifts today yeah so um, yeah. through everything that we go through yeah. whatever doesn't we say kill us yeah um, makes us yeah. better and stronger yeah. and um, yeah. trauma is so interesting because you to meet it and sometimes you meet it in dribbles and drabs where you need a yes. break and the moon isn't full yes and you can sort of regroup <laughs> and you sort of a static for a while and then yes. I don't know if, if you did it this way but I've had to always do it in dribbles and drabs um, so that I could recover if it was too overwhelming. Exactly. And, you know, it's an, it's kind of nifty the way that happens. Isn't it's such it interesting? an ebb and flow to that. Yes. But you know, once that you open up like a flower like that, it doesn't close back up. You're there. You there. You are. There you are. And the, and you're bearing your heart. And you're bearing and your heart. Working yes. on your pain. You, you, yes. That's it. Yes. You are a new person. 
Exactly, and it and that again is the uh, the gift in it all. And what I wanted to share with others is possibly um, people relating to maybe things that I had gone through yeah. that they may have gone through. Because yeah. I do believe that we learn through others. Oh yeah, and yeah. that um, you know we get inspired by others. Yeah. Or uninspired by yeah. others, or whatever joining it may with be. others too. Joining, so, yeah, like you could maybe bring up something for someone who had a similar kind of a way of that happening. Exactly. A process. Maybe your process could help someone in their process sort of see where they were heading. That's the whole idea. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, we live in a world that, um, you know, you can be um, ex including people or excluding people. You can yeah. you can be open to um, helping others or not. That's and true. I think the gift is in when we consider the best and the good for the highest and good for all concerned and yeah. any, anything that we do, yeah. you know, is this best for the whole. So yeah. the book is pretty much based on that. Um, uh, it goes into bullying, it goes into um, uh, addictions, it goes oh. into um, all kinds of various topics yeah. that possibly could help others. Yeah. Haven't you worked with a criminal justice system in some way? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, rehab mm -hmm. work? I'm, I'm a trainer for the Criminal Justice Training Council okay. in Plymouth County. And I train the new recruits um, that come in. And I train on victim and victimization and also domestic violence. Oh, okay. And I also am uh, registered and getting my license for drug and alcohol counselor. Um, but I, I do a lot of counseling, but my normal job is counseling and, and educating. Yeah. And, um, and again, that touches base with parts of my life that I experienced, because yeah. I grew up in an alcoholic home where there was domestic violence, but through that yeah. gave me the gifts yeah. and the ability that yeah. I'm helping today. Yeah. And, it, and again, what's so amazing about it, it wasn't plotted and planned. It was yeah. all, I just came in alignment with it. Yeah. Which, it, which it, was the amazing it, it part unfolded. of it. It really did. Yeah. You know, when we're unfolding, it's interesting, you sometimes don't know you're unfolding, <laughs> but, exactly. you're, <laughs> exactly. but you're in this place. It fascinates me about the creative, creativity within us and how it works. Yes. And how it stops and then it, it needs time to gel. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. to become more permanent. And but permanent right. growth, I always feel, is a slow process. We need to learn patience with it because storming the kingdom sometimes can be too much yes. for us all at once. Yes. Well, you know, it's like when we plant a seed in yeah. the ground. When we perhaps we're planting some seeds in the ground, and if we plant them the way that you know, take the time to dig the hole and how many inches and put the water in it. Yeah. Ear chances are that that's going to really take root yeah you know and versus we just put it out there and and uh, yeah. don't don't yeah. so I think when we force or get get kind of um, complacent about things um, it our lives really don't uh, take the course that they normally would if yeah. you if you rush it yeah it just isn't gonna yeah be as ex more steady and balanced as you'd want in your life yeah. whatever you're doing yeah. I know how um, how much you work with your guidance. So you're bringing up, asking, and you know, yeah. holding that hand and saying, what's next, or what's today, or right. what do I make of this? Um, that connection that you have. Right, right. Um, well, you know, it's funny because um, today, I know you're a runner, if I may so say. So you certainly say. may. And I think that's wonderful. And, and um, when I walk, is when I get oh. a download from Spirit. It's an absolute easy download yep. of anything and everything that I was thinking about or had questions about yeah. come in swiftly. Yeah. So it's in that silence and that moment in time yeah. that you give yourself instead of when we're in the chaos and when we're in that energy of the yeah. movement to the negative, yeah. you're not going to get that inner guidance. Yeah. It's, so. it's a form of meditation, what you're doing. Yes. And you know, that's interesting. Maybe our friends are interested in the fact that running, walking, working out yes. can be a form like a lot of us sitting and trying to be patient. It's something we work on. Yes. But it, there's something freeing about getting out of yourself or hearing the pounding of your feet. Yes. Or feeling the breeze or noticing nature as you're doing it. it there's something that just helps it, as you say. Right, it, you it get a helps head slap. Us. Definitely, yeah. and, and it's like when we surrender into something, perhaps, you know, a lot of people say, well, I, I really don't like to work out. I hate showing up at the gym, but I go because I feel good afterwards. Yeah. Well, when we surrender into yeah. 
what we don't want to do when we actually are surrender into it that means that's an acceptance piece too to it yeah then we it's easier yeah yeah it's just like when we're when we have time with each other in this moment like if you and I are just here right now not thinking of anything else but enjoying our conversation and being here now yeah. instead of thinking about whatever we have to do yeah. later yeah like which yeah. a lot of us do don't we yeah we yeah. think of those that's things, true. but if you take the time to be in the moment, yeah. then that's where you're really going to get so much yeah. uh, growth and so much yeah. um, more enjoyment out of it. Because yeah. we can all do tasks that we don't like to do, yeah. but if we do it with displeasure, and I don't want to, and yeah. <clears throat> it's me. Monday again and back right. to work. Do I have? Can we yeah. just say, hey, and, yay? Yeah, <laughs> and, and we buck our way through, then it's a lot harder. Yeah. So if you surrender and say, you know, just for this moment, yeah. sort of a 12 step yeah. philosophy, just for this moment, I'm going to surrender into this moment of time that, and then and you find it, it just falls away, that it, yeah. it takes less time to do even. Yeah. Well, if I have companionship within me, anything goes. Yeah. I just feel the comfort that I need, and and it's there. Yes. And, and that you're saying listening is so important. Yes, it's that inner. I mean, we do antenna. get the, yeah. the, the, the the head slaps, but you know, just listening and taking it seriously when you hear something. Right. Help us with that because as a medium, you, right. you don't sort of toss it aside and say, well, maybe you you grab it. Right. Do you grab it? When yes. Well, first of all, it's um, discerning. Um, okay. You, we can get all kinds of information, um, but let's. What are we going to do with the information? How we articulate and give it to somebody is a oh. whole nother. True. study uh -huh. and I'm listening to so from here to here to here right right <laughs> and so it, yes it is and it's um, <clears throat> how do you f it's just like a regular back in the day antenna that you have on a regular radio or a boom box sure. you call it yep. and it has an antenna on it and sometimes if we're in a wrong place the reception the perception wouldn't go well and you yeah. couldn't hear the tune as well yeah so same with ourselves so when we're off and we're out of balance we're not going to be able to listen as well. Yeah. Our frequency is going to be off. Yeah. So listening, being able to tune in, and how to do that, <coughs> is a, is the most important part of mm. mediumship or any kind of psychic yeah. ability or yeah. intuitive ability. Yeah. It's being able to tune in to that inner knowing, and that is a surrender. Yeah. You know, it's funny about our chemistry. You, I'm sure we have a lot of people in our lives, and some are more intimate and some are not, and sometimes there's a task we have to do. Have you ever had the experience of oh, the ug goes yes. through and you have to chuckle at it? It's yes. like, what was that? Right. You know, is this an assignment that I'm supposed to be doing yes. something else? or? You know, right. I, I get a chuckle out of those because it's like, hmm, there's this wave yeah. of energy that uh, it could be fear. It's just a... Oh, fear is the biggest catalyst of most everything that uh, takes us off course. Yeah, yeah. Fear to, well, only love is real as we know That's in the right. Course of Miracles. That's and, right. And this is just an illusion. And, yeah. And it, so again, taking it in, I think it's Eckhart Tolle's... Um, teachings as far as um, surrendering in yes and actually um, being in that moment yeah. it's when we when we fight it yeah yes that's you a know. good point you feel it surround it look at it see what it is and then do something with it right you can change your mind you can change your mind which is shift. miraculous we could be stuck in traffic for instance and be yeah. miserable in the traffic or we can say uh, we could be thinking oh I've got to get home I've got to do yeah. this instead of just saying okay there's a absolute reason yeah I can take this time to relax mm. I can take this time to accept where I am yeah and be open to whatever information I need to receive right now because b my belief is spirit is always trying, our guides and our, in, you know, those in the spirit world are, that are trying to help us and assist us, yeah. we have free will. Yeah. And do. they won't intrude. <laughs> so we have to ask and receive, you know, yeah. ask to receive the information. Yeah. Yeah. And at those times I take the time to, okay, what is it that I may need to listen to right now? Yeah. What is it that I mean that might be helpful? to what I'm going to um, yeah. come about in the next few yeah. hours. Yeah. Um, you have a website address which has been coming up during the show, but it will tell our folks and friends when your church services are yes. and their Sunday mm -hmm. evenings. Yes, yeah, it's 6.30 on 630 Sunday evening. 6.30 on Sunday evenings. You yeah. also have mediumship days every now yes, and then. Yes, every first Saturday. Um, 
We have mediumship, 15-minute um, readings for $15. It's sort of like a discount, too. Oh. And it, but it gives a chance for people to uh, experience what it is like to have a, uh, a reading by a medium. Yeah. And uh, we actually had to uh, cancel this Saturday's due to the traffic. Oh. They changed the 4th of July. Um, they're having this Saturday, they're having it where we would normally have oh. mediums day. And if you've been to Onset, sometimes the parking can be a little <laughs> bit much if there's other things. Yeah. So we actually had canceled it for this yeah. um, first Saturday, but we'll resume the next. And you have classes. Now, when summer yes. comes and it is crazy here, yeah. do you find some of them have to take a back seat for a minute, or do you still do mediumship classes? Oh, we do everything, yeah. They still go. Can we, I can st still run through the whole year. Yeah. Yeah. And Never do you have stop. numerous folks that come in and teach? Um, well, actually, I have um, the classes, um, the development classes, generally, I'll facilitate. But if there's somebody visiting, oh, or, you have guests. Yes, or oh. guests, and but we do have guests. I have at least, I would say, two guests or more a month yeah. that come in from out of state or another. Uh, country even yeah. and they offer um, their own workshops mm -hmm. and they offer their own readings you know messages and so it gives others an opportunity yeah. to share the gifts with us yeah. and uh, for our um, members or non-members to educate themselves yeah. 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 Now, your uh, book again, everyone has an antenna. Right. Correct. It's your so inner, it's, inner knowing. It's, it's your it. inner knowing. Yes. And that we shouldn't take for granted and that we shouldn't discard. Take it seriously. Yes, take it seriously because I'm sure I could, there's many people that I've spoken with that when I do education in the schools actually, I'll talk to the kids and I'll say, yeah. you know, the most wonderful thing that you can do, the best thing you can do for your entire life is build your sense of self-esteem and know and listen to your gut feelings about things because that gut feeling is the one that thing that's going to either help you or um, in cer certain yeah, circumstances. Gut, gut you know? feelings, yeah. And so when I asked them, I said, how many of you ever met somebody in your lifetime? And um, probably about a year in, or maybe the second year, you start to see something different about them or uh, that you've never seen before, you yeah. know, or, you know, it takes a long time to get to know somebody. But if you use your gut feeling when you first meet somebody, you're going to be able to tell those things before you even have to go through the year or two. Ah. In relationships, we're talking about yeah. when they start dating. Yeah. Okay. You know, give you that, you know, if you have a funny feeling about somebody when you meet them, yeah. listen to it. Yeah. Listen to that inner antenna yeah. that's going to say, the, I'm not sure about. The introduction. Yeah, the introduction. Because <laughs> oftentimes what you find out, is that, gee, I should have listened to myself. Yeah, or how did I get myself into this? I, right. Yeah. And when we had sort of red flags all <laughs> red along. Red flags. Little red Button flags. Button pushers. Button pushers, yeah. yeah. Little red flags. I mean, yeah. we're all human. Everybody's got yeah. all of the good, bad, or indifferent yeah. in every soul. You know, yeah. So that's my spiritual side, I know. But in the education in the schools about dating and things, I'll take it more traditional and try, kind of pull in a little bit of the intuitive. Yeah. yeah. Because we all have it. Yeah. They have an intuition. Yeah. And they need to know they to follow that. must have fun with you. You must give such a different slant to things. Well, um, so far it's working. It's, of course it's and working. And again, it's um, coming from the heart. I believe when you come from your heart, yeah. other people can tell. They can. And if, and it touches their heart. Yeah. You know, and so therefore they feel free to open. Yeah. So I find it a, a great um, pleasure uh, and a great opportunity to, to help. It sounds like a know. pitch for being yourself. Yes. Just show up right. as who you are. Right. And don't try to be something you're not because it won't work. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> right. You maybe try to work it. But maybe uh, that's one of those red flags is someone's trying to be something else and you might be picking that up. And, and picking it up. Yeah. And then we can be uh, helpful to that person too. Yeah. It doesn't mean we have to you know, like the bully, the bully comes oh. on as this big brazen, or whether it's male or female. Yeah. And um, actually, what I share with the kids is that they, if they felt good about themselves, they wouldn't be hurting you. Whoa. They wouldn't think of hurting you. That's so true. So you have to know that That's something true. inside yeah. is hurting within them. Yes. They're in fear. Yes. And they might pick up someone who's the perfect victim. Yes. That might have very little self-esteem right. that would be exactly. open to being picked on. Mm -hmm. We, it's really interesting, we often mirror 
what, to each other, what, we're, what's missing or something that we do ourselves, but we don't realize it I know. in one way or another. Yeah, they say we should watch our projections yes. and our evaluations and then look at ourselves. Look at ourselves. I mean, if I look at another and I find something that maybe I perhaps would, wouldn't would um, want to do, I have to look at myself and say, well, where, maybe I'm doing that, just not in the same area yeah. or the way that that person yeah. is doing but it. But you can relate. You can relate. Yeah. So you try to come from a yeah. consciousness of yeah. love and not judgment. Well, if you came from an addictive home, you must have had some work to do on figuring it out. Yes. Because it probably felt like normal, well, like we all think that's what it is. Everybody's yes. like this. Right. I mean, there was beautiful fun times in, in the arena of all things, too. Yeah. But what it did is it absolutely fine-tuned me to be vigilant to my environment because that wonderful fun time might turn into a, a uh, disaster time. Yeah. You never know with parties and so forth and yeah. things like that that would happen. So yeah. as a child, I just was very in tune to people's, I could look at my adults and know what they were thinking. Yeah. And it was real, I'm not, I'm not saying I was, I'm a mentalist, but yeah. I definitely could could and it's hard when you have that yeah. ability yeah because you know when people are liking you disliking you what they're feeling judging you all of yeah. these things yeah. are very open yeah. you know we have five minutes and I was interested in what you just said because with the, the antenna that you had was it because uh, traumas happened. The unexpected showed up yes. after you're in the middle of all this fun and then all of a sudden something out of the blue. So that taught you to be vigilant, be vigilant to listen. Which makes listen. perfect sense. Right. And so if we can take something that's difficult for children. So this is what I would put in my book for mothers that have children that either have grown up in an alcoholic home or yep. domestic violence. Yeah. I'm going, I share with it my experience as a child and what it the hard thing it was, but then it came to a gift. Yeah. So it gave them more comfort. That maybe my child is going to make it and be okay and, and yeah. have these gifts too, or whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. But again, it's to help and comfort yeah. and uh, perhaps give people courage. Yeah, we're, we're winding down a bit, but I think our plug, both of us, is always, we need to serve, we need to do something. We have to yes. get out of our own way, and the best yes. way to do it, especially when we get mired in our children or yes. uh, emotional problems of friends yes. or all of that mm -hmm. family stuff, that to keep our head above water, to definitely have a mission, to have a place to go where you are lifted up because what you're doing is something that your thread is giving you to give. Yes. And it's not an escape, it's just the way we can function it's here a way to, yeah. as healthy people. Definitely, definitely. The only way out is through. Yeah. We have to go through, and our inner healing is the most important thing in our entire yeah. lives. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and we're share, and when we share too, we're also speaking those words that we are working on. Definitely, yeah, you know. So it's a definitely it's, nobody's done, nobody's nobody, finished. Yeah. So we're it's teaching and learning. They're the same. Yes. Which uh, sometimes people think, oh, you're you're giving to that person, but not to you. But you're always giving to yes. you. Yes. It's just yes. it, it goes around. When you're doing your life purpose, mm. when you're doing what you're here for to do, then you're truly a loving self in others. That's right. Yeah. It's interesting too, um, and the, uh, the the modes are so unique and so different for everybody. The talents, the abilities, be it blind, deaf, whatever. Yes. There's something for everybody. There is. And you know, everyone needs to hear that. There is a mission for everybody. There is a mission, no matter how we come in, yep. whatever shape, form, or whatever. Yeah. And we can see it. Yeah. We see that these people function, and what makes them function? And we can function in a you know a way of service, and we can function in a yeah. way of misery. Yeah, you know, not everyone is a teacher on the verbal orator yes. type, right. but people can are, do artwork. Yeah. Uh, people can sing. Um, yes. People can be creative and share their joy with the talent that they have. Exactly. That lifts them and others. And, and, and everybody has a talent. That's what I tell the. There's not one person here in this earth that doesn't have an, a talent or ability or a reason to be here. Now there's where we need to pull this in right now. Everyone has a reason to be here. Yes. And whether you've been before, whatever you came in with, uh, it's an opportunity here yes. to figure it out. Yes. It's, this is a strange place. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, being in a, hum a human body on this earth plane with yeah. a terror out yes, there yes. and our need to sort it out so we can actually survive. Yes, yes. It can be very painful. Now, it's how you look at it if you realize that there's a reason for everything. Yeah. And if you really uh, tune in and do your own inner work, yeah. 
but we have so many modalities yeah. now and this uh, that's oh. what brought me to where I am yeah uh, it's not just one boxed in modality that's going to help you there's many many there um, are so many inspired folks yes. that have found unique ways to share yes in our last minute and they're coming through they are coming like through crazy time yes. I mean just like horses charging. it is it is and yeah. and they're all unique and they're all maybe inspired from something they've read but then they find their own cap that they put on it with yeah. where they've been yeah. people are searching yeah and often oftentimes they find the answers within yeah so Thank going you. within go within yeah. and on that note I thank you so much and thank you Kathleen thank you Hoffman for yes thank, thank you. you Penelope and thank you so much for joining us on the wake in the dream and we will talk to you again soon